Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about force and its effect on the body. Force is defined as push or pull on any object. If you exert a push or if you pull a body that means you are exerting a force on it. Force is a vector quantity. It has got direction and magnitude both. Magnitude means simply a number. Suppose force on an object is 10 Newton. Newton is the SI unit of force and dyne is the CGS unit of force. Standard international centimeter gram second. 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne. That means dyne. Make sure you don't write down dynes because plural is not allowed in the in, in writing the units. If you exert a force of 10 Newton on a body, 10 is said to be the magnitude and direction is what we are supposed to specify. For example, I am exerting a force of 10 Newton on a body towards east, then that east will be considered in direction. And that is why force is a vector quantity. Okay. Now, let us understand about the effects of forces on a body. Number one, speed of the body. Suppose, there is a car moving in this direction with some speed say 5 meters per second. When you exert a force on this body in this direction, in this direction, then the speed of the body increases. So the first effect of, of application of force on a body is the increase in the speed. Yes, if you are exerting a force in this direction, that means opposite to the direction of the motion of the body, then the speed of the object will decrease. So speed may increase, may decrease, depends upon the direction of application of force and the direction of the motion of the body. Number two, state. With state I mean to say motion or rest. If a body is at rest, suppose there is a car which is at rest, so its speed is zero and when you exert the force on this car in this direction, it will be in motion. Now opposite to that, if a car is in motion and if you exert a force in the opposite direction, the car will come at rest. So when you are exerting a force on a body, a body in motion may be brought to rest and a body at rest may be brought in motion. Let us consider the third effect of force that is direction. Suppose there is a there is a small toy toy car which is moving in this direction and if I push this car in this particular direction then the direction of the motion will change by some angle. This angle theta depends upon how much we are exerting the force. So when, when something is moving in this direction and when you exert the force, suppose in that direction, then the change, you will observe a change in the direction of that body. Next point. Shape. Shape of the body. This is not always true for all the substances. Uh, if you have a very strong rigid body, then if you exert the forces by our hand, then the shape of the body may or may not change. 
we are talking about very small small forces of course if you have a very big stone and if you um, if you i mean if you have a roller and if you move the roller on it definitely there will be a change in the or there will be a change in the shape of that object but here we are considering very small forces and by that forces you can change the shape of the objects for example tomato so if you have a tomato and if you exert the force like push or if you pull the tomato then its shape is going to change so this is the another effect of the force and let us now study about the most important point that is the turning effect of force that is called torque we will discuss about this torque in next part of the video but very shortly i can tell you this this is a very small bolt here you have a spanner like this and if you want to open up this bolt you have to exert force on this spanner now when you exert the force in this direction like this in the upward direction you will see that this bolt starts turning so when you exert a force that force gives you the turning effect this turning effect of the force is called torque it is also called moment of force so these are some effects of forces and a very short discussion on force